Welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for Friday, December 6, 2013. We begin with an update from the world of material science as it applies to medicine. When it comes to medication, I think most people would agree that needles suck and that pills are much easier to deal with. Researchers from MIT have been working on nanoparticles that can effectively be absorbed in the intestine. Many groups are developing nanoparticles as a way to deliver medication, including chemotherapy, but those would still need to be injected intravenously. For many diseases and conditions, this isn't a big deal, but for treating chronic illnesses like arthritis or diabetes, needing frequent injections may reduce a patient's willingness to stick to their medication regimen. The main issue is the cells that line the small intestine, where most things are absorbed, are joined by what are called tight junctions. This makes that layer of tissue impermeable to large molecules, including potential medical nanoparticles. Scientists have investigated ways of temporarily disrupting these tight junctions, but that can have unwanted side effects such as letting harmful bacteria into the bloodstream. However, these researchers found a way to selectively let in the nanoparticles using antibodies. You see, breast milk contains antibodies that a baby needs to help develop their immune system. These particular antibodies bind to the receptors lining the intestine, which triggers the cells to let them slip through. Fortunately, these receptors are also in adult intestines, so by coating nanoparticles in a section of these antibodies, they were absorbed. Just as a proof of concept, they demonstrated this by delivering insulin to mice orally. That could be applied directly to diabetics, but the researchers think these kind of nanoparticles could be used to deliver a wide variety of drugs, as many nanoparticle-based medications are in various stages of testing. Related but separate from that is our final story, which is an update from the world of medicine. A group from Spain has been developing a new class of anti-HIV drugs with some success. Currently, many people in developed countries can live with HIV through the use of antiretroviral drugs. These drugs, however, must be taken constantly because the virus is constantly evolving to counteract those currently in use. Meaning new drugs, and especially new strategies for those drugs, are essential for counteracting the disease. They created this new drug primarily by using a computer model with the goal of making a molecule that binds to RNA. The HIV virus infects cells by injecting RNA into the host, which then produces multiple proteins that allow it to replicate further. A critical protein called REV binds to the RNA at a particular point as part of this function. Their drug molecule was designed to also bind to this site, blocking REV and effectively stopping viral replication. It took many scientists to first design this molecule and then actually synthesize and test it. Such testing has only been done in cell cultures so far, but the results are very encouraging. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. In reference to our first story, what would you make into a pill form if you could? Let us know your thoughts on that and all the stories in the comments.